give you a quick uh, detailed overview of all the parts I uh, use for this little mini quad here. Let's start with the transmitter. I bought a uh, Tyrannus X9D with the X8R transmitter kit from Hobby King. And I actually bought the wrong 3D printed case, but I made it work out anyway. So make sure you get the X8R if that's what you're using. Uh, this was 22 bucks on Shapeways.com. Got a four pack of uh, Traxxas battery straps. These work out pretty well, obviously for the batteries, but also for mounting other components. And then I ended up buying some circular polarized antennas for my Fat Shark system. I got the Fat Shark V3. Uh, I just read a lot about the, the standard Fat Sharks. Don't really, don't really transmit too well. There's a lot of issues with them. I got a bunch of heat shrink for all my connections. So I wanted to really black this quad out, so I made sure and covered everything up as best I could. I actually got a kit on Amazon for 10 bucks. Comes with seven different sizes. Uh, just make sure if you want to cover your ESCs to get some some bigger heat shrink. Just the max size on that was uh, 20 millimeters. It's not big enough to cover the arms in the ESC. I also got some liquid electrical tape for all my connections to waterproof and uh, protect from the, from the board. And for my flight controller, I got the CC3D on Hobby King. It was about 30 bucks, and I got a 3D printed case off Shapeways uh, for 10 bucks. And I actually didn't use any of the component, any of the hardware. It doesn't come with hardware, but I didn't use any hardware to mount it. I used some zip ties and some moon gel to dampen the vibration. And I actually ended up using some spacers from Hobby King for my landing gear. Worked out pretty well. You can see here my uh, simple power distribution board. I got that off uh, Multi Rotor Mania for 10 bucks. Not too bad. And I ended up mounting it on the bottom uh, for more of a cooling effect. So you can see here the quarter inch braided wire coverings I got off Amazon. Uh, I got 10 feet for I think, 6 bucks. And I actually have a lot extra left over, so you know it's, it's plenty for your for your build. And you can see here the moon gel that I got for uh, I'll probably use it for my Fast Shark Cam, my GoPro, and I use it also for the CC3 and the transmitter. I'm a little crazy with it. And you can see here I'll some more heat shrink and braid wire coverings. Uh, in this picture, I, I was actually mid build, so I, I actually mounted the CC3D with zip ties, not Velcro. So, for the power system, I got the T Motor 2300 KVs. I got these off eBay. Uh, I got four of them for 100 bucks. I'm finding a lot of them online now for like 25 bucks, so not too bad. I'll probably actually order another one pretty soon just as a backup. So there she is. Can't wait to get her up and running and go do some FPV racing, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again, and check out some of our other videos on how to make a GoPro mount and a FPV camera mount using TrueGrip. Thanks. Stay flying. Thank you.